Russian security officer Igor Strelkov, serving a sentence in a Russian prison, wrote a letter regarding the Ukrainian armed forces offensive in the Kursk region. He predicts Russia's defeat in the war. According to Strelkov, the Ukrainian armed forces not only stretched out Russian forces with their Kursk operation, but also demonstrated to the entire world and, above all, to Russians, the impotence of the Putin regime. He also suspects that Ukraine may be preparing another attack on another part of the front. I continue to expect a possible offensive by the Ukrainian armed forces in the Crimean or lower Dnieper direction in September, no later than mid-October, Strelkov wrote. He stressed that the current tactics of the Russian Federation in the war, which consist of missile attacks on energy and frontal attacks on Ukrainian villages, will not lead Russia to victory. According to Strelkov, this will only exhaust Russia. This word hangs over our military campaign more and more, more and more clearly and more and more threateningly, no matter how hard our official propaganda tries. The Czechist stated, It should be noted that Strelkov is an accomplice of the Kremlin in the war against Ukraine. He helped Putin's regime to start aggression by participating in the occupation of Crimea and Donbass. The International Criminal Court sentenced him to life in prison for shooting down a Malaysia Airlines passenger plane. Strelkov is currently in a Russian prison, not for the plane, but for his brazen criticism of Russian dictator Vladimir Putin. He was sentenced to four years in prison. Recently, Russian mercenary Yevgeny Skripnik who in 2014 fueled the war in Donbass together with Igor Strelkov, has become despondent. He complained about the huge losses of the Russian army in Ukraine and called for the resignation of Vladimir Putin. The mercenary noted that the current situation at the front is very different from what it was in 2014. The Russian army is currently suffering colossal losses and at the same time has no chance of winning. Skripnik called for the immediate resignation of Russian President Vladimir Putin and the entire leadership of the country for the lost war. Ukrainian-made missile resources will be increasingly scaled, which will facilitate the destruction of military targets on the territory of the Russian Federation. Military expert, former spokesman for the General Staff of the Armed Forces of Ukraine, Vladislav Zeleznev, said this on Radio NV. He believes that scaling up production and using the Ukrainian drone rocket Palyansia can be effective. The resources of the Ukrainian army are growing more and more. And this is in fact very important because while complaining about our Western partners, we need to look for internal opportunities, including through the production of our specialists who manufacture not only the Palyansia drone missiles or missiles for the Sapsan complex, but also Neptune, Neptune type missiles. Zeleznev noted, according to him earlier, the general director of the Luk Design Bureau, Oleg Korostelev, repeatedly stated that the further we go, the more the tactical characteristics of this type of missile weapons are growing. And let us not be surprised by the fact that these missiles are designed to destroy sea targets. They work just as effectively on land, destroying enemy military potential at distances that were impossible for us until recently. And this is great news. I hope that only further will we scale up production and accordingly the combat use of this type of missiles in particular. Zeleznev said, The Palyantia drone missile is much faster and more powerful than conventional long-range drones. Ukraine is also developing other missiles, very powerful and long-range. On Ukraine's Independence Day, August the 24th, the new Ukrainian drone missile Palyantia was used for the first time in combat. As President Volodymyr Zelensky reported, Ukraine already has products capable of flying 1,500 kilometers. In the two and a half years of full-scale war, Russia has launched about 10,000 missiles of various types and more than 33,000 glide bombs at Ukraine. Stopping attacks on our cities can be achieved by targeting the carriers of this weaponry, Russian aircraft stationed at military airfields. The first successful combat use of our new weapon, the Ukrainian long-range rocket drone Palyantsia, took place. It was designed domestically to destroy the enemy's offensive potential. The number of rocket drones produced will grow, just like our long-range strike drones production did, the efficiency of which we see almost daily, Zelensky said. The development of the Ukrainian long-range drone missile Palyantsia was completed in 18 months with several dozen Russian military airbases falling within its range.